Now you can actually check a pump is working in three ways. One way with power on and two ways with power off. Now you've got to be very careful when you're checking with the power on. So we would have, this is our live neutral and earth and our wires will be connected and we would have everything turned on. And we will check between our live and earth and we'll be looking between uh, 230-250. We will be checking between live and neutral. And we'll be seeing whether we've got 230-250. to 250. And then we check between our neutral and earth to make sure we've got no voltage. Or less than 5 volts. So that's how we would check to see whether we've got power going to the pump. So if you've got power going to the pump and the pump isn't turning then the pump's not working, the pump is broken. Now it could be something like the shaft's stuck, so you could take off here and uh, see if the shaft is turning and you can see whether it's stiff or not. So that's one way of testing, but the safest way of testing pumps is with no power on. So what I've gone and done here is I've set my multimeter to the home setting of 2K. Now, I'm going to check between my live and my neutral. Now, if I have less than 100 ohms on this pump, then the pump will need replacing. And if I've got more than 900 ohms, then that could be the pump would need replacing. Now, you can see the pump has different settings. Now, if I set it to number three, which is the fastest speed, we're looking round about between 150 and 250 ohms. But a lot of the time on this speed, you will get round about 300 ohms. So let's have a look and see what we're getting on the reading. So if I go on to my neutral and then my live, I'm getting 313 ohms which is not too bad. If I go to the slower setting of number two, the homes reading should go up. So we've now got 440. Now, if I go to the number one setting, it should go up even more. And you can see now it's gone up to 568. So that's the first way of testing whether this is working. And this pump seems to be working fine. Now, if I set this to the audible buzzer, so when I put these two together, you can hear the buzzing and you can see the reading. Now, if I go to my live and earth and I get a buzzing, then that means it's a dead shot and it's knackered, which it isn't. And we'll try the neutral to the earth. So we're getting nothing. So there is no dead shot. So this pump will work fine when it's installed and it was working when it was removed.